Hello and welcome to this mod review of Harvest Productions. We start with just going through the write-up by the author Death's Pledge of this new mod. This mod's basic aim of course is to utilise, I would say, um, offcuts or, or by-products of other productions. So straw and the, in particular straw and wood chips. So the idea is to take the straw, add sugar and water and make um, tableware which is biodegradable. And it gets sold in the eco farm. But we'll get to that a little bit later. And then uh, making briquettes from the wood chips using a bit of diesel. Um, I would think that we should, we would, generally speaking, try to use biodiesel if we could make that maybe some or some fuel from the BGA. But at this point in time, it's just using diesel. Having said that, let's get into it. So let's get on to productions and. Under Factories you'll find the Harvest Productions at a very, very reasonable price. 20,000 euros or dollars or whatever. The footprint is pretty small. I think the, um, the mod that has been used is the Bio biogas um, mod and I would think you would, should use that mod and this one together and that would work perfectly back door doesn't open it's just there for show yeah so footprint, footprint reasonably small all the inputs go in the front let's have a quick look so tableware, which is made from straw, briquettes from wood chips, and the inputs are straw, sugar, water, wood chips, and diesel. Have a bit of a look at the recipes there. Cycles per month, reasonable. We'll go through the whole, through a whole production cycle. So I say diesel, if we can use biodiesel, even better. But it does take normal diesel as well. Right, so that's the harvest production factory setup. Now we need to find a place to sell our product. So basically the tableware and the... What were they called? Fire bricks? I've forgotten what they're called. <laughs> oh dear. Let's just have a look and see where is the... It's a selling point. It's not a factory. Looking under factories, we're not going to find it there. <laughs> I've just left that in to see. The penny finally dropped. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's have a look and see here. Where is it now? There we go. Harvest production, 15,000 for the... So it's basically the farmer's market with the added uh, purchase or capability to purchase tableware. And it's called the Eco Shop. Now I'm going to just put in a normal farmer's market just to see if it does come up um, as a sale point for tableware or for the 
fire bricks or whatever they're called. We'll just put it on the other side. Just so that we can see whether there's whether it will take anything. Well any of the product from the from the harvest production site. Right, that's got harvest table. No, only the eco market. And witcher briquettes. That's what they are called. Witcher briquettes. Right, let's get some some inputs into the into the production unit. Put the straw in. Going to try and fill everything up to capacity. So it takes what twenty thousand liters, I think. So my guess is it's probably going to take twenty thousand liters of everything. Yeah, twenty thousand liters. Just going to drop that off. Yeah, we've got some wood chips. Put those in. Another 20,000 litres there. Put in a bit of water. No price for guessing. I reckon it's going to be 20,000 litres. <laughs> I think this uh, this is a good a good mod for. For using in eco situations, um, as you must probably know, I am doing an eco series on no man's land. I've just been filling up with sugar, so that's twenty thousand liters of sugar in as well, and then we've just got diesel still to fill as well. Yeah, so um, it's this is definitely going to make an appearance on. Um, in my eco eco series on no man's or eco farm on no man's land, I haven't put in the full twenty thousand liters of diesel. I put in about eighteen thousand liters, but I don't think it'll utilize. I was just looking at the recipes; it, it won't utilize a full twenty thousand liters in one cycle. So, I'm, what I'm calling one cycle is a I filled up with wood chips. I filled up with um, with straw. We're going to run those until the production is full. So either the production is full, or we run out of um, the basic product. So I've just put this onto high speed, and you can see. We're well into May, June, it's still producing. You can see all the, all the figures just going down at a rapid rate there. July, August, and we are at full capacity for tableware, but we are still doing wood chips, and that is done. Right, so interestingly, we've got 20,000 litres of tableware and 20,000 litres worth of um, briquettes. However, we've used all the wood chips to produce the, the briquettes, but we haven't used all the straw. So that's pretty interesting. Right, let's get this all delivered. I've taken note of the money that we have in our account. And then we will see how much we have after we've completed the deliveries and see how much we make. Now we are selling at the bottom of the market. As you can see from the 
inset that we have. So this is basically worst case scenario. <laughs> Whatever we make here. Well, it was going to take too long doing it with the JCB. We'll get our auto load out. Like a machine gun there. Oh, the JCB is just too weak to handle it. Put a tractor on, go and get this delivered. Then we'll just deliver the rest and see where we are. Start. I don't think there'll be a full load. Doesn't really want to pick up from the back. We'll have to drive in, I suppose. <laughs> Not a really, not a major serious problem. Just making sure that we're getting everything out. Here we go. Yeah, almost another full load. We'll go and get this offloaded. And then we see where we are in terms of the money. I like this mod. I think it's got its place. It'd be very good for some of the role play plays that people do. Really, really enjoy it. Right, so we started with a balance of 2,977,337. We've ended up with a total of 3,104,646. So by my calculations, that makes 127,309, whichever currency you're playing in. Overall, I like this mod. It has its place, certainly in my role plays. And that's it for this mod. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!